Many people consider dentistry to be just about teeth. Keeping them clean, white, and free of cavities. I would agree with that. That would be incorrect. Bummer. Dental problems can also include gum disease. Gum disease? I know what it is. It's when your gums get all pink and puffy. Pink and puffy. Am I wrong about the puffy? You could say puffy. We probably would say inflamed. But gum disease can actually be much more serious than pink and puffy. Serious how? First off, if gum disease, which is also called periodontal disease, goes on too long, it can weaken your gums, make them recede, and you can lose all your teeth. Yikes! Losing teeth sounds a lot more serious than pink and puffy. That is my point. Any missing teeth can ruin your bite, make chewing difficult, and give you recurring headaches. But the problem is bigger than teeth. Bigger than teeth? The biggest problem with gum disease is you have a disease in your mouth that is spreading throughout your body. Spreading throughout my body? Every minute. This can have many adverse effects. Yuck. I would think so. You have to understand, the mouth is a gateway to the entire blood supply. The mouth has an amazing number of blood vessels in it. Is that why some medicines are placed under the tongue to absorb faster into the system? Exactly. It is also why a critical part of dental health is preventing gum disease. Sadly, even though we estimate up to 80% of people are affected by gum disease, most don't take periodontal disease very seriously. I had it once. All I knew was my gums felt more sensitive and they tended to bleed easily. And I found this can contribute to bad breath too. All of that is true. Realize there are always bacteria in the mouth. And food particles from what we eat can settle in areas between the gums and teeth. These particles will decay to cause infections too. I had not thought of that. And here is the big one. Because of this bleeding that accompanies gum disease, those bacteria in the mouth are in contact with the blood vessels. That is how it travels through the body? Yes. One of the first things we discovered is it can contribute to heart disease. Heart disease? You are kidding me. Bacteria entering your blood vessels from your mouth can raise the body's immunity response, which can create inflammation in the heart and arteries. It not only can harm the heart, it can also thicken the walls of arteries which hinder the blood flow and make the heart work harder. Okay, really not good. This also increases chances for plaque to form in the arteries. If plaque lodges someplace that obstructs blood supply to the heart, there is a heart attack. If it obstructs blood flow to the brain, there is a stroke. Really really not good. I am giving gum disease some serious respect. There are many reasons to pay it attention. There's also a link between gum disease and diabetes. Diabetes? Gum disease doesn't cause diabetes, but it can make it worse. Plus, if someone has diabetes, it can make them more likely to get gum disease. So if you have diabetes, you have to be extra careful about gum disease. Exactly. It is also known that pregnant women with serious gum disease may be seven times more likely to give birth prematurely. Mamas beware of gum disease. My new motto. Don't stop there. We now believe there's also a connection between severe gum disease and increased risks of pancreatic cancer, which is the fourth highest cause of cancer deaths in the U.S. I had no idea gum disease could be so serious. Most people don't. Bacteria circulating in blood can also put a strain on the immune system. You might get colds more often or they last longer. Or it is just that something always seems wrong. Yucks. Before many surgeons perform transplants or other major operations, they first demand that patients get a dental clearance from their dentist. Surgeons know if the body is weakened from gum disease, it could compromise the surgery. Wow. People are taking this seriously. They should. But even if gum disease isn't so advanced to cause major illnesses, it can still make you sleep poorly. Or your digestion might be off. Or your brain may not think as well. You may just feel tired all the time. I hate feeling tired all the time. I can understand that. 
someone who is always tired has a harder time with life. They don't get what they want, or need done. They get depressed. They may even turn toward drugs for depression. It just keeps on getting better and better. The truth is, it can get better. With help from your dentist. This part I want to know. To avoid gum disease in the first place is to keep up with good brushing and flossing. I can do that. Next, make regular visits to your dentist and hygienist so they can help keep your gums and teeth clean and in good condition. I can do that. If it is more serious, we can still help with deep cleaning like scaling and root planing. Plus, if you would need gum surgery, we now can use lasers which are less painful and heal faster. Lasers. I love lasers. We always advise patients that their gums are perhaps the most important thing to take care of. Not just for their mouth, but overall health. I am really beginning to see that. Good. People who have all their teeth and good oral health their whole life, absolutely live longer and better. Living longer and better. Now that is a good thing. Remember, a regular visit to your dentist not only keeps your teeth healthy but, it can prevent major health problems in your body. Don't forget to schedule your appointment with your dentist soon. An ounce of prevention is a pound of cure.